Hello everyone, hope you all are well. My name is Neha from Future Group Accountants and today we're going to talk about reporting in Asana. One of the favorite reports um, that I have is upcoming tasks by my team. So many times this happens that you have a staff member, especially these days, you know, um, since since COVID, I don't know, I've never noticed, I've never had this situation before as much as I have it now where, you know, someone's kids get sick and then they are going, they just, you know, when someone's sick, it's not a planned leave, so you can't do the handover or anything. So we recently had a team member whose son got really, really sick and they were away for a week. But obviously the work can't stop. The work has to keep going. So because we use Asana, we've got all the tasks set up there. It was really, really convenient to go through the report where I've got upcoming tasks by assignee or go into the calendar of, um, of that particular staff member so we could actually distribute the tasks for, um, for the staff, right? For the other staff members to help. So... There's a report in Asana, um, which is called Upcoming Tasks, where you can actually create a new one as well. So all it was is like every staff member, I, I know that what are her, like what are Ronlin's upcoming tasks, what are these upcoming tasks. So I can pretty much go in there. And so I can basically click on there and I'll be able to see what are the nine tasks that are available um, or that are upcoming for a staff member. So. I really found it very, very useful. So I thought I'll do a quick video on that. Really helpful um, to just manage the tasks if someone has to go on an emergency leave um, and just makes the plan really, really quickly. The client's work does not get impacted. Client happy, staff happy, we happy. So everyone's happy. So thank you very much for listening to me and I'll speak to you next time. Bye-bye.